what you doing for the rest of your life I said, I don't even know what I'm doing tonight Hi guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am super stoked about this one like I am with pretty much every video I post, but this one I'm extra excited about because today we're going to be reviewing Wish and Amazon stress relieving products and seeing which ones are good, which ones are bad, and just testing them out together. If you guys haven't seen my previous video, I announced that I will be giving away this Victoria's Secret pink backpack for $1 on Poshmark. So if you guys use the link in the description box below and enter code PEACELOVEKTU, you'll be able to download the app and follow me and watch out for this listing because it's going live for $1. And for today's post notification shout out, there are three of you guys and the first one goes out to Kelly Schweiger, Danielle is a person, and Cool Kid Slime. Thank you guys so much for having your post notifications on. And if you guys want to get shouted out in my next video, make sure you click the little bell after you subscribe and comment down, down below when you've done that. I'm gonna keep this intro nice and short for you guys, so let's just get right on into the first stress toy. Woo! This first stress relief toy is from Wish, and it was only a dollar. Shipping was two dollars for a grand total of three dollars. This is described as a children's fidget hand spinner. I was actually surprised that this was a kid's toy because it's a slot machine and it promotes gambling, but hey, it was actually pretty fun to play with. For an inexpensive fidget toy, this wasn't really bad, but I can see a kid getting completely bored of this toy after like five or six spins. So I don't know if it's a long lasting fidget toy, but it was pretty fun to play with. Next up, we have this really interesting stress toy. This is a squishy toy and it's shaped like a dog. The one I got is in blue, but they have other colors on Wish. It's a rubbery toy made of silica gel, but it has a decent stretch to it. I can't really think of what to compare the texture to, but it's a really strange texture. It was kind of fun stretching this toy out, not gonna lie, but I felt so bad doing it at the same time too because it's a dog. So I looked at the listing on Wish for this and they have it placed on a plate because it's supposed to look like a cake, I guess. I thought that was a little bit weird, but I paid $3 for this with shipping. My total was $7, which I guess isn't too bad. Next up, I couldn't find the listing where I bought this from, but I believe it was from Wish. There isn't a name on the packaging or anything. It just says makes you happy on the front of the package. This one is pretty neat though. It's a red plastic coil thing that unravels and it can be bent and morphed into different shapes. It's pretty cool because you can make it small again and take it with you places and it's pretty neat twisting it into different shapes. I feel like if you think of fidget toys, this would be the perfect and ideal one. It's simple and it will definitely help with stress or anxiety. Moving on, we have this temperature color changing, slow rising, scented squishy. I paid $4 for the squishy with shipping. My total came to $9. At first I pressed into the squishy and didn't see any colors change. So I thought this would be a fail, but then I pressed my fingers into the squishy for a few seconds more and the colors really did change. The orange part changed into a yellowish color and the purple part changed into a lighter purple color. This was really satisfying because squishies are already satisfying and stress relieving. And now we have a color changing squishy. So this is some pretty epic stuff here, people. The quality of this squishy wasn't the greatest. It almost seemed like it could rip apart just by pressing into it. I think they painted something over the squishy to add the color changing effects because you can definitely see cracks in it. But I'm so happy that the colors changed in this and I definitely recommend it. Next up, we have a fidget spinner. These were so popular at one point. 
I never owned one before, but they look so cool. So I wanted to try one out myself. This was free. Shipping was $2. And I thought this one was pretty cool because it lights up. I couldn't figure out how to make it light up at first, but one side actually lights up and makes the whole fidget spinner light up when it spins around. Now I can see why people love these so much. They're very addicting and relaxing at the same time watching it spin around. Since we are now moving into spooky season, I thought it would be fitting to test out a zombie pimple popper. I paid $6.99 for this pimple popper on Amazon, which seems like a pretty reasonable price to me. It comes with the zombie face and the pimple cream as well. So I just took the face apart and started filling the holes in with the cream. This was a little bit different than the typical pimple popper that most people have reviewed because I was looking for the eyedropper tool and I was confused on how to do this so I took the face part and figured it out. So then I just took the front face and put it back into place and slowly just started squeezing the pimples. This was kind of satisfying. I mean it's not that gross because it's a zombie so it's not like crazy realistic. I know some people think this is pretty gross, but to others, they find this very satisfying. This was a little bit messy, but I did it a second time for y'all, and I'm not going to do a voiceover so you can enjoy this if you find it satisfying. So here you go. Next up, we have a Lil Shucky's Pearl Party. This is from Compound Kings, and this is a neat new slime toy that they have. Packaging of this is super cute. So it comes with this big oyster, and inside there is a mini one, a packet of slime, a packet of beads, and a string. It came with this little tool too to open up the oyster, which was actually pretty exciting because then you get to reveal your pearl and I got this pretty gold one inside. The packet of slime they included was pretty decent too. It's from their glitzy collection and I just love how all of these colors match everything in this kit. It's so thought out. You can also make a bracelet too with the string they provided by using the beads and your pearl to make a cute little bracelet, which is super fun. This is a neat little de-stressing toy that kind of encompasses everything all in one little toy. And it would be super fun opening multiple ones up at the same time too. And lastly, the moment you all have been waiting for, we have a, another pimple popper. But this isn't just any pimple popper. We have the man face pimple popper. Okay, people? So included in the box, you get the man face, a bottle of pimple pus, and an eyedropper tool for $13.98. And I purchased this from Amazon. The instructions said to heat the pimple pus for 10 seconds, but they lied to you. They really mean 10 minutes. You want this to be a complete liquid, and I'm not joking when I said I heated this thing up for 10 minutes. It arrives completely solid, and you need to melt it down to a liquid. So after it became a liquid form, I just used my eyedropper tool to fill every single hole in. You kind of have to do this fast because the liquid will turn back into a solid form pretty quickly. After I filled each hole in, I let it sit for a few seconds and then you get to do the best part, the pimple popping part. This was weirdly satisfying to do, but I kind of find it satisfying to watch it over again. This was a lot of fun and I had enough left to do it a second time. So I'm going to stop doing voiceovers and let you guys watch me do it all over again. So enjoy.
And that's all that I have for you guys this week. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching today's video. Let me know if you guys want to see a part three to this. I did one video just like this one before and you guys loved it. I'm gonna have it linked down below in the description box. So make sure you guys check it out. I'm planning a fall slime shop restock coming very soon and everything is going to go live on Etsy. Super excited. I love fall so much and I've just been planning and thinking out a bunch of different slime ideas. So there's super exciting stuff coming up. Thank you guys for being here and being a member of the K-Squad. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!